During my studies, obviously I learned the technical components of law and business, but I think the most important aspect is that I learned how to think. UTS is very practical. At uni, we created financial models, we deconstructed different businesses. That critical thinking and problem solving ability, I think it's the number one thing that I received from an Australian education. Another thing that drew me to UTS was its strong international focus. The international leadership opportunities at UTS really allowed me to have a broader view of the world. I think as the world becomes a lot more globalised and integrated, being able to understand and interact with people from all around the world is so important. And it's those global connections that have really allowed me to thrive. Welcome to your new campus at UTS. My name is Rachel, I'm going to be your tour guide for the day and we will get the chance to see the amazing buildings around campus. And first off, starting with Building 2, which is right behind me. We are inside of Building 2, so this is the building where the Faculty of Law is. We also have heaps of places available in which you can study even if you don't do law. We have the amazing and the big Hype Super Lab, which is really colourful, so you can take all the pictures that you want. Speaking of pictures, we also have the Double Helix Staircase, which is considered the most Instagrammable spot at UTS. So in this building as well, you may also find the UTS Library and the Reading Room. I'm standing right in front of Building 11, so this is the building for the Faculty of Engineering and IT. As you may see, there's a beautiful pattern in building 11. So that is binary code, ones and zeros, which basically codes for UTS. So some students may call it the cheese grater building because of how it looks, and others may call it the Fiat building, and that's because it stands for the Faculty of Engineering and IT. Here I am in building 10, and right behind me is the main student centre. This is the place that you're going to go to if you ever need to collect your student ID card, if you have any questions at all relating to your enrolment or admin before you start your degree. I am in front of building 7 or the Vicky Sarah building and this is the science building. So this building is also known as the colourful windows building. Some important things to note right behind me is the super lab. Science students do their practicals and labs over there. And if you need to take a break from everything that's going around campus, all you have to do is walk right down to this building and check out the Cornerstone Cafe. Here I am in the alumni green. So this is the spot where most students hang out and you get the chance to do that too. Over there we have a big and green lawn in which students can just sunbathe and sit with their friends. Over here we have some chairs, tables and some ping pong tables in which you can play with your friends. All you have to do is borrow some bats and ping pong balls from Activate right in Building 1. Right over there we have Building 4 which is the science building but most people know it because it has the gym and the sports hall. Here we are in front of Building 8 or the business building. This building may also be called the Dr. Chow Chak Wing Building or the Paper Bag Building because of how it looks. In this building, you may find heaps of studying spaces available, so feel free to check them out whenever you want to have a quick study session with your friends. And of course, be sure to grab a cup of coffee because we do have a bit of coffee places around. We're in Building 6 and that is the building for design, architecture and building faculty. That is why some people call it the DAB building. In this building, you may find lots of creative spaces available. So that can be the 3D printing facility, the UTS Arts Gallery and photo labs. We're in the foyer of Building 1 or the UTS Tower. Between you and I though, this building is what some students call the ugliest building at UTS. But we do still love it because it is home to many UTS services and that is where also graduation happens, right upstairs in the Great Hall. 
There's heaps on offer around the UTS campus, so whenever you do get the chance, be sure to walk around and discover your new campus.